Hi guys, I'm Francesca. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are making vegan cauliflower gnocchi. So instead of potato like there is in regular gnocchi, we sub that out for cauliflower. I thought this would be a great substitute. I've seen people, you know, you make cauliflower mashed potatoes, cauliflower rice. So cauliflower is great at mimicking that starchiness that potatoes have without all the carbs and all the calories. So I really hope you guys enjoy this. It's absolutely delicious, so easy to make. But let's get into our video. All right, so to start this off, we're gonna take a head of cauliflower and we're gonna chop it up into big pieces and roast it. We're roasting it and I will only say to roast it, don't steam it, don't boil it because we don't want any extra liquid in the gnocchi. The more water there is, the more flour you're gonna have to use. So we're gonna roast those in the oven for about 20 minutes at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. This is them all done. You can see they get like a little bit brown. So then I'm gonna put all the cauliflower into a high speed blender and we're just gonna blend, blend, blend. It takes a little bit of time. Again, don't add any extra liquid in. There's enough water in the cauliflower naturally to blend, and this is what it looks like when it's done. So now I'm taking about half a cup of all-purpose flour. I'm just gonna use my hands, spread that out, and then we're going to add about half of our cauliflower period mixture on there. And I'm just going to start using my hands and working it into starting a dough. It's really not going to come together at first. Your hands are probably going to be really sticky. It's going to be frustrating. But then we're going to add in the rest of the cauliflower, one vegan egg, some salt, and we're going to add a little more flour, and we're just going to keep working it. You just have to keep doing this until you get a dough that isn't sticky anymore and can hold its shape. But the key is you want to add as little flour as possible so the gnocchi stays really nice and light. So I used about a cup and a half. This is how my dough is now. You can see I was touching it. It wasn't sticking to my hands. I could pick it up. I can wiggle it. It's a dough now. So I'm just going to take this little log that I made and make it a little bit longer, a little bit thinner with my hands. And then we can start to cut our gnocchi. So I like to cut like one long strip first. And I'm just cutting a few of those. Then I'm taking a little more flour. If you can't like get anything off if you're dough is sticking just have a little bit of flour handy and if you're gluten-free just sub it out for gluten-free all-purpose flour and then I am just going to take my knife and cut out the little gnocchi and the dough is a little bit sticky but that's okay don't worry if again just keep the flour handy if you need it just dip your knife in flour flour something flour the surface don't worry Wanted to show you if you want to use your fork to make the little design, you can. So it works just like regular gnocchi. So again, you're just going to go through and cut them all out. I think I got about 80 gnocchi from this recipe. There was a lot of gnocchi. <laughs> so I rolled them into little balls and now we are going to boil them. So just put them in a pot with boiling water. Use a spoon. Make sure to salt the water. And... You want to put in like maybe like 15 to 20 at a time and when they rise to the top you know they're done. So you can eat these now if you want or you can pan fry them like I did which is really delicious. So in this pan I just have some like about like a teaspoon of olive oil and a teaspoon of butter. And they just get nice and crispy on the bottom. You can see as I'm kind of like shaking the pan the little bottoms have already started to turn golden. So then I'm going to put some sea salt on here, red pepper flakes and garlic powder. And I love eating yucky this way. It's really delicious and it's a little bit fun and different. So you just want to keep rotating and flipping and moving around and letting different sides cook. But like I said, you could just eat them boiled too if you want. You don't have to do this. It's just fun. So I just served the gnocchi with some fried crispy kale. I'll explain how to do that on my blog post. So I just mixed them up together and I added a little more sea salt garlic powder and red pepper flakes on top just to make sure everything was super tasty and flavorful and that's it these are so delicious i think they're really perfect for the summer i think they're perfect if you're trying to watch your carbs you want to indulge a little bit but not break a diet or if you just want to try something different get a vegetable a different vegetable in your kid's diet something and they come out soft and they really you can't taste the cauliflower it's really crazy so i hope you guys enjoy this all right, guys, that was our recipe. I really hope you enjoyed it. As always, my social media and the full recipe on my blog will be in the description box down below. If you did like this video, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I will see you on Sunday with another recipe. Bye.